Hi guys, this is Nomad. We're here again with Cloak to review a box, a monthly subscription box. This one is the Aki Bento box, which comes in at £28, uh, more or less. So this is the November box, and I think the theme was Unity. So they said that we're going to have some stuff in here, like uh, Pokemon things where you have you unify with your pets and, and fight and such. I don't think we're gonna have any great unifier children in here. So <laughs> we'll go and see what's in. Well you never know you might open and get a surprise. So we've already cut the tape. So let's see what we have first. Okay so first we have a decal that looks like Bemo's cousin from the Dark Realm. I think that's Digimon. I think the, the the point of this is that when you put it on your laptop or wherever, then like you put the Apple sign so it, it appears on the screen in the actual decal. So that's that. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, okay, we have three, and I think this is the Iwatabi School anime. I've seen fan art of these, which is quite homoerotic. I think it's fan art. It might be the actual cartoon. I haven't watched that. But this is a sweatband, so you can look anime cool. Well, why do you sweat? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in more ways than one, maybe with that theme. So, uh, what else are we gonna do this last? Okay. Oh, Pokemon! Yay! <laughs> so this is. It's not a statue. Yo. It opens. Oh, horrible noise. Okay. Oh, we've got Pikachu in there. There's the smiling face of Pikachu and it's a stress boom. Pika Pika. Alright, so can't see. Oh, oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. Let's put it. Oh yeah. Bodge job job. Okay, oh we have the pin this month and it is Unity. You get that? Okay. They always give a little badge so you can collect them and have a little row of each month. Uh, let's see this, this guy is from Tiger and Bunny and that is Tiger. One of the reasons I remember this guy is because he's actually quite much darker than this in the cartoon. And I thought that was quite cool that there was like a, a more ethnic anime hero and not just the typical, you know, ginger haired white dude really. So I thought it was quite cool, and you know he's got the, he's rocking the beard as well, the little goatee there. So yeah, I thought it was quite cool. You know he's wearing a hat as well, so that's pretty badass. And you know, and he's an older guy, and he's an older hero, and he's being upsurped by Barnaby, who is the the younger pain in the ass, really, <laughs> from 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 what I've seen. Not a big fan of of Bunny. So yeah, Tiger, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that guy. That's that's that's, that's a good item there. I don't know if he's going to stand up for no reason. He's just going to lay there. <laughs> he's tired. He's going to go to sleep. Rest, rest. Okay, this is the YouTuber of that's on this month's one. I don't know her name, but she's rocking the Pokemon hat. It's just a plastic keychain. So people, her fans will love that. I right, have a box here. This is going to be the... Aki Bento exclusive item. It has the Egyptian has a hieroglyphic, hieroglyphic hieroglyphics going on. Yeah. So that's probably gonna be from an anime that has something to do with that. And inside we have oh it's it's been battered around a bit. And there we go. We have the Fumble, fumble. Oh, look, there's the all seeing eye, of course. And that is the. It's not Digimon. That is the chain from the Yu Gi Oh guy. I don't know his name. I can't remember. He wears that around his neck. Oh. You know, the guy with the kind of spiky colored hair. Mm -hmm. I do not know his name. Not a big Yu Gi Oh fan. <laughs> Although I have been playing some combat card games, Minion Masters and stuff recently. So that's. I kind of did see him the other day when I was. Researching that, Let's put that there. What else we have? The t shirt will do last. 
we have a phone charm of Yuwamushi Pedal. Pedal. I do not know this anime, but you can attach it to your phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cool, but don't know who that character is. It's kind of like, because mm, we like the much darker anime like Berserk, Overfiend, Wicked City, yeah. Hokuto no Ken, you know. These, these bad ones. <laughs> this seems to be the more light, fun, happy Project Echo. Hey, Project Echo's cool as well. Yeah. Don't, there's nothing wrong with light, fun manga anime. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know this guy. <laughs> okay, and lastly, oh, we have the card, the Unity card. That's cool. And that shows the character. Oh, there's the Yu Gi Oh guy. Yeah. This dude here. There's Tiger. See, look, he's brown there. Yeah? Yep. And there's Ash from Pokemon. It's nice to see him. The very best. <laughs> and inside, you get to see everything that was in the box. So there's the YouTuber. Oh, we could have got a platinum diamond um, pyramid. We did not. There's the decal with everything except for the apple sign. And these are the different plushes that you could have got. I think we got a good plush. That looks. Yeah, well, we definitely did not want Barnaby. No. <laughs> so yeah, we could have got the the African guy who likes to touch butts. Cool. <laughs> I thought it was quite jolly, very risque in that it, it, the kind of stuff he comes out with in there. So I'll just put this to the side for a second. And last but not least, we have the T-shirt, which normally is an amalgamation of what came in the box and. This time it's also an amalgamation of what come in the box. You see, he's brown there as well, yeah. Tiger. And there's Urza from Fairy Tale. I can't see that side. I get that's Barnaby at the top, I think. Can't see who this is. Maybe he's from the swim team. That looks like Rukia from this angle, but it's not going to be her on the right. That's quite a nice t shirt. Pleasantly surprised. It's cool. So, yeah, that's quite a good haul. So these boxes aren't as big, so it's going to be harder to leave it displayed. Okay, so that's displayed a little bit better now. So we just go through the costings. So anime t-shirts are not cheap here in the UK. So they've got the Unity there. I assume that says Unity in Japanese. The material is quite good quality, and it's a screen print. It's not a sticker, so you won't have to worry about cracks or it peeling off. And we've got Urza there from Fairy Tale. We have Tiger from Tiger and Bunny. Barnaby. Um, not sure who those other ones, probably from the animes that we don't know. Uh, so I'd say £10 for the t shirt. Yeah, sounds 10. like a good price. I mean, it would probably cost you more than that to buy, but if you were to sell it, you'd probably get about 10 uh, And then we'll go with Poketsu here from Tiger and Bunny, who's a cool character. Despite him not being the same colour as he is in the anime, in the plush. Um, I think if you were to get this imported, it would probably cost you about £20-25. If you were to buy it somewhere here, it would probably cost you about 17 18 If you didn't like Tiger and Bunny and you wanted to resell it, you'd probably have to take a hit. So, say 16 But the value is all dependent on if you like the anime that's there. Then we have our stress ball, Pikachu. This probably would cost about eight or nine pounds if you were to buy it from a novelty shop, especially with Pokemon being so popular now due to Pokemon Go being a, a big thing. Uh, I think if you were to sell it, maybe looking at about five. Yeah, yeah. It seems a bit stingy, but I'd pay more than five for that, but <laughs> probably. If you wanted to sell it, it would be five. Let's get him looking out again. But okay, uh, cosplay item probably looking at about ten pounds. I mean, it's quite heavy, it's sharp on the sides, though, really sharp. So maybe about eight pounds not eight pounds because it's sharp, but seeing if you wanted to sell it, you'd have to find the right buyer. So probably eight for that. The charm from the anime that we do not know. <laughs> that would probably be about three pounds from Tokyo Toys. 
or any other Japanese anime shop, really like doing advertising for them, <laughs> uh, free. This would probably be about six. Yeah, possibly. Depends on how much you like to sweat with your anime boy band members there. <laughs> One for the girls, I would guess, or, or, or guys, guys that like guys. Uh, and the decal, I think, prob I've seen a bigger version of this, and it was about five. This is a small version, so it's not even the medium version, so I would go with probably about a quid. So it's one. And this, I don't think this would really have much resale value unless you were a big fan of the YouTuber. But these kind of plastic keyring items are normally done as promotional gifts at away days and such, and they, they don't cost anything. So 10, 16. So you're looking at about 49. Yeah. Yeah. For a twenty-eight pound box, that's not bad. That's really good. And you get this really cool Pikachu to just <laughs> squeeze at your leisure. <laughs> yeah. You just want to put your hand on it, right? I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a good haul, I think, for this month. Next month's theme is going to be harmony, and I think that the items are going to be Bandai, Attack on Titans, and a, a, a few others. But it seems to be a bit more to the dark darker side of anime and a bit less teeny bopper cool well, still cool I guess but more of our kind of anime I would say mm. so yeah we're really looking forward to the next box and hopefully we'll see you then so please like comment subscribe and see you back next month for the next unboxing thank you thanks